Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show beginners or teach you how to use EMR on EC2 instance. We are going to be using EMR 7.5 uh, and then we'll submit a PySpark job as a step and once the job is complete it's going to dump the aggregate results on S3 and once the job is complete the cluster is automatically terminated. Without wasting any further time we are going to begin with a small simple lab. Okay. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need a sample data set and I'm going to copy this curl command. This curl command will upload a sample parquet file on S3. If I refresh here, okay, I see a raw folder and I have one parquet file. Again, the goal is to teach you, right? Now, the next step is, okay, now we need to create an EMR, uh, EMR on EC2 uh, 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 cluster and then we're going to submit this job as a, as, as a step, right? So let's take a look at that process, right? So I want to make it easy, man. So job.py, right? So this is your very, very simple PySpark job. As you can see, I create a Spark session, very simple, right? I read the data as a data frame object on line number 24, very simple, right? I create a temp view call customer. I do some aggregates over here, right? And then once the aggregates are done, I print that on the console and then I write that data on S3, right? So now how do I submit this job on EMR, right? How do I submit this as a step, right? So I want to show you that. So to make your life a little easy, I made a shell file called uh, create EMR submit step dot sh. So again, I have made it easy, right? So you can see all placeholders, right? So you can give any name, a cluster name that you like. Uh, release version, I'm using the latest EMR 7.5. Uh, region is going to be US East 1. This is my account ID. Uh, again, then I'm going to be using this particular subnet. And the job path locally on my computer, I have a uh, Python file called job.py. This is the bucket name, right? And what this shell file does, it basically executes and first copies this particular PySpark job on S3 with this particular command. And after that, as you can see, it's going to submit a step, right? So the jar we are going to be using is a command runner.jar. Again, you can go and read this particular uh, shell, shell code, right? And then here you can see, uh, of course, you can add core node and task node. But since it's for beginners, we want to keep the cost minimum, right? So we just have one primary uh, primary node, okay? But of course, remember, you can add core node, you can add task node. But again, for the demo, we don't want to make it complicated, right? And then all we do is we call AWS EMR create cluster. We create the cluster, as you can see, and then we uh, provide in the step. The step is this one right here, as you can see, the name of the step, you can give it PySpark job or aggregate job, whatever you like, right? You can give it a name, right? And this is the path where the job resides on S3, the, the PySpark uh, code, right? And that's about it, right? It's literally that easy. So uh, if you want to try this out, you know, which you should in theory, right? You just have to change these variables, right? So now if I come here, if I first go to my S3, I do not have any folders here, right? Once the job completes, right, remember, it should dump something on S3 under the folder processed, right? So if I head over back to my, <coughs> excuse me, EMR on EC2, I do not have any cluster, right? So now LS minus L, AWS S3 LS. So I'm showing you that my AWS CLI is configured, right? LS minus L, right? So now we're going to be basically executing this, uh, this shell, the shell script, right? So first we'll give it permissions. We're going to say chmod plus x dot slash uh, dot slash. Okay. So we did that and now I'm going to run it. So, so I copied the file on S3 as you can see, and then it basically submitted a job, right? So now if I refresh, I can see what my cluster is in the creating state, right? As you can see, starting, right? And if I probably click here and I click on step, here you can see I have a step ID. This is my step ID. This is the name that we gave, PySpark job. Remember, if I go to my shell script, step name, right? So PySpark job. So PySpark job. And then soon you'll see the logs, right? So I, what I will do is I'll pause the video because the cluster usually takes time. Once the, it is in the running state, I will show you the logs. I will go to S3 and I'll show you that it will dump that aggregate results on S3. Again, the goal here is to show you, see how easy it is, right? So try, try, try this out, right? Try these labs out. So I'm going to refresh. And again, I know this will take time. So I, I am going to pause the video right over here. 
Uh, here you can see probably the cluster now is in the running state and it's saying running step, right? So now if I click here, oops, let me, I can't, uh, okay, okay, go to steps. Let's see if the logs are available, I refresh. So again, it is running right now, which means it must be reading and it's gonna do that aggregation and it's gonna dump the result. So the logs are not yet available. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit more and once the logs are available, I will probably show you uh, the output. And once the job is complete, I expect uh, those Parquet files to be uh, there in the S3 buckets, right? Oh, the logs are available, it's completed, standard out. Here you can see. Uh, it basically did a group by and then a count on that, right? So cool. And then it was able to write that Parquet file on S3. So now I refresh here, you can see that process data, right? And then we have that particular uh, Parquet file there, right? So uh, hopefully made sense, right? Hopefully you learn, okay, how everything works, right? So now always when you're learning, right? Uh, go to EMR EC2, look, the cluster is automatically terminated, right? So step allows you to submit the job and then once the job is complete, the cluster is automatically gonna terminate. Now, see, this is useful, right? When you have so much of data, right? And we're talking about hundreds of GB or, or probably terabytes, right? You need a lot of task node, right? To compute, you to do that aggregation and then dump the results on, of course, uh, an object store, right? So this hello world gives you that, um, for beginners, this hello world gives you, okay, this is how I do it. Okay, this is how I submit it. Okay, this is how everything works, right? It will give you the confidence. So uh, my advice is uh, if you have a chance, make sure you do these labs. Uh, again, this lab would have some cost, but again, that would be probably like 40, 50 cent. But I, I would say it's worth spending that money to learn and, 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 and learn the skills, right? At the end of the day. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and I'll try to make more videos on EMR uh, once uh, I have some uh, more time on it. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.